Hello, welcome to another edition of your converting of your units using your dimensional analysis. And in this example, we will be converting 3.00 teaspoons, or abbreviated as TSP, into the unit ml. So this unit here, teaspoons, is usually used when you are baking or cooking. So it's very useful that you know how to convert that into the more familiar unit, which is the ml. To get things started, we, what we need is our equivalent statement, which we need to identify. Then after that, we need to write the equation. All right. So we have here our equivalent statement, which is 1 teaspoon. Now remember, this is the US teaspoon. is approximately equal to 4.928 ml. So we, we will be needing this equivalent statement and transform it into the corresponding conversion factor so that we'll be able to place it here for us to solve the problem. Now remember, the units should be properly placed for the problem to be solved. And for you to see that, you should be able to see the cancellation of the units. So in our given, the unit is in teaspoon. So what we need in our denominator for the unit to cancel out should be in the teaspoon. So we write that down. Okay, so we now have transformed our equivalent statement here into the corresponding conversion factor here so that we will be able to see the proper cancellation of our unit. So we have the unit te teaspoons here and in our denominator we have the unit teaspoon. So we try to cross them. All right, that's being canceled out. We are now left with our desired unit, which is in ml. Now, with, when we do the calculation, that will be equal to 14.786 ml. Now, remember, before you report your final answer, you, you should always go back to the number of significant figures that were originally given. So in our given, we have three significant figures. So our final answer should only contain three significant figures. So we need to do some rounding off here. We have one two significant figures already so we only have one more need to go so we have seven eight and six in our next digits so to round off seven we we'll look at our next digit which is eight obviously we need to add one more so our final answer will be 14.8 ml so this is our final answer so that will be all for this example thank you for listening and continue learning